Microsoft Excel 2010 Formatting Text Functions The functions we're going to work with now convert numbers to text and at the same time also apply formatting. So if you need to do a data conversion on your numbers to make them text, these are very handy. In addition, it's a simple way of using a formula to apply formatting should you want custom formatting. Now the first one is just a dollar formatting. And the way we do this is simply click at the beginning of our formula here. And we're going to embed this sum formula inside the dollar function. So I'm just going to go ahead and type dollar. And put a comma in here because the number I want is that sum, comma. And now I can choose how many decimal places I want here. So if I don't want it to have any, I can just hit zero, close that up and it becomes dollars. And I can go ahead and fill that down. And sure enough, it's converted it all to dollars with no decimal places. Now I'm going to undo that. And there's another one that may give you a little bit more benefit, a little bit more flexibility called the fixed function. Now with the fixed function, it won't give me a dollar sign, but if I type in here fixed and in open parentheses, I get my number and then I can put a comma and decide how many decimal places I want. And I'm going to say that I want two. In addition, I can decide whether or not I want the commas in my thousand separator. Now, I think I do want the commas to be there, so I'm just going to type in here false. Close up my formula and hit enter. And now I get a little bit different look. Okay, I'm going to go ahead and undo that. And the final one is just the text function. And the text function allows me to convert my numbers to text and set up a custom format all at the same time. So I'm going to go in here and type text, open parentheses, and then I'm going to put a comma. Now we're going to put our new format inside of quotes because we are converting this to a string. Any string or text you want to be displayed in a uh, Excel formula, you would put inside of quotes. So what I'm going to do is say that I want a number, I want a thousand separator, and then I want other numbers. So I'm just going to come in here and do numbers. And I do want to see the decimal places at the end. If I just put two number signs here at the end, if there is, uh, if there's an even number, if there's no decimal places at all, it will come in here without the decimal places. So if you wanted to show the 0, 0.00, you would have to do the zero zero or whatever the decimal place is. So we'll, we'll do that. Now I'm going to go ahead and close this and hit enter. Now I'm going to go ahead and fill it down. And there we go. Now the way I did this actually looks pretty similar to the fixed that I used earlier, but I could, if I had a different range of numbers, get more creative with my custom formatting. And those are three formatting text functions in Microsoft Excel.